So here we have a five month and change, almost six month review of the M1 Martinez. If you guys want, you can go back on my channel and see when I bought it and see what it looked like. Um, I do foundation work, so the hammer is pretty banged up, as you guys can see here. Um, my grip has pretty much been melted to shreds, but it's still pretty good. I had put some hockey tape on it to keep it a little bit um, tighter. It, it does get a bit loose once you use the hammer a lot. The, uh, the titanium frame is still solid absolutely no cracks in it and i swing this thing i'm not gentle with it at all as you can see here the head is still solid um the teeth on the head are still sharp they still get the job done um the milled face is still pretty strong um so i won't be changing my head here today as you can see the nail puller has had a bit of use and the bolt to hold the head on the titanium frame is still strong, all right? So if you guys don't know about this hammer, you can pretty much take off the grip, take off the head, put brand new grips and heads on, and always have a new hammer whenever you need, all right? So we have that here today. As you guys can see here, I have um, a brand new head, because the shipping takes quite a while up here in Canada, so, um, I just wanted to order it and not wait all day. This is what the head looks like. Brand new, brand new mill face with the brand new bolt and washer and the, the teeth, they just look amazing. And these things do work, all right? So you guys can see what five months of doing concrete work will do to your Martinez. Still a strong hammer, still very, very, useful out there and i personally think that this is the best hammer you can ever spend money on um there's nothing better out there okay so let me show you guys the brand new grip that i have here um i purchased this see-through grip again just i'm really a fan of the see-through grips the solid ones in my opinion will last a lot longer than this see-through one but I don't know, I like, I like style, I like feeling good with my hammer. So I order a see-through one again. When it goes down and wear out, I will probably buy another see-through one. I'm not sure what color. As you guys can see, I got the curved um, end here. And we're gonna exchange that today with the old one. Here's the bolt that you screw in at the bottom of the hammer, which allows the grip to stay in. So I'm gonna remove this old grip now and the bolt and show you guys what the hammer is looking like. And at the end of the video, I'll give you guys my full review on how I feel about this Martinez. So before I take off the full grip, I want to show you guys what it looked like um, before I put the hockey tape on. This back part right here started to peel from my thumb being on the grip. Also, this part right here pretty much started to peel and expose the titanium, all right? So once that starts to happen, this starts to lift in here, and it just makes the grip very, very loose, and it doesn't feel safe. It feels like your hammer is going to go flying somewhere, okay? So I already took the bolt out from down here. The bolts are right here. They're still... Still pretty good bolts. They're not damaged or anything from all the hard banging I've been doing with the hammer. Um, so I'm gonna pull this grip off now. So the grip is now off. Pretty much just split it down the middle so you guys can see what's in here. Um, this material, this green stuff right here really helps absorb the swing of the hammer. Um, this grip lasted me about five months. Um, if you're doing concrete, you can expect about five to six months per grip. You can use the um, hockey tape to help extend that. But I do recommend um, going to the Martinez website and picking yourself up another grip. All right. I would go about two grips a year, possibly three, depending on how much work you do and how hard you're using the hammer. 
I don't mind spending the 30 bucks or whatever for a new grip as it makes the hammer extremely comfortable and easy to use, okay? So this is what the shaft looks like without the grip on. Pretty clean. So we got the grip on. It took quite a bit actually. I had to use another hammer and kind of get it all the way in. And as you can see, it's not quite flush. I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, but yeah, the grip is on. I'm happy to have a brand new grip. I'm just going to take apart this bolt right here and fasten this into the end of the hammer so things could be much tighter all right so what i like to do is i like to put the long bolt on the other end and you need some sort of um i don't know a hammer or something to flush this so you can put in the other bolt on the other side and fasten this tight so i'm going to do that now real quick and show you guys the finished product so after fastening the other end, I'm just gonna tighten this with this trusty Phillips, little baby Phillips I have here, and just try to get it as tight as possible. Um, really get it to the point where it won't come off, because then that really gives your, your hammer its strength when you swing it, okay? I feel like this can go in a little bit more, but it seems pretty good. Maybe I have the bolt in on the wrong side, I'm not even sure. So there you have it. Got the Martinez put back together. I'm pretty excited to have this hammer back strong. I'm just gonna give you guys my review right here of this beautiful, amazing hammer. Like I said, I won't be changing the head this video because this head is still usable. I'm just gonna keep my extra head for when I need it. Maybe the, the teeth might break on this and I might need a spare head immediately. All right, I appreciate all you guys that um, have Martinez's and and watch this video and want to learn about it. Um, the review I have for this hammer is that it is by far the best hammer you can use for any swinging all day type jobs, all right? So I'm not sure all the jobs that uses a hammer all day like um, concrete forming, but if you swing this hammer more than 100 to 200 times a day, I recommend using this hammer. If you're swinging at heavy things such as big nails, um, concrete, um, huge blocks of metal, you want to use this hammer because what it does is it absorbs because this titanium bar is so light and durable it just absorbs all the swinging motion plus the grip truly helps out as well um it really makes it easy to use all right so shout out to all you guys man i hope this video helps you guys make a good decision about buying this hammer or if you already have it it helps you see how to switch the grips around um it took a little bit of time but we figured it out we got this old grip and yeah just wanted to leave this video saying thank you, Mr. Martinez, for making this hammer. It is saving so many construction workers' joints and arms, and it's just a powerhouse of a hammer. Um, if you guys have any special heads, like the all red ones or orange ones or any of the exclusive heads other than black, please, I will purchase them because I love the hammer so much. All right. Thank you for watching this video. I'm out.